So I'm back to my doctor's visit here. Dr. Hope uh, did my dot laser about three days ago. How's it looking? It looks great. So you can actually still see some of the little dots here. We pulled up a lot of pigmentation on Dr. Mendelssohn because he was just a little bit tan before the procedure, which is okay. We really want you not to be in the sun after your procedure for risk of hyperpigmentation, but if you have just a little bit of extra color on you beforehand, that's okay. So you'll see kind of that extra pigmentation starting to peel up here. Um, a little bit of crusty oozing still coming from that fibrinous exudate that we were talking about earlier. But everything looks good. Everything looks normal. Um, no pain at this point. Yeah, no, it was great. I think I said after the first three or four hours it really went away. I No, uh, the, the biggest thing is, is the Aquaphor really is a mess. Um, it does mm -hmm. stick to a lot. I mean, it's, it's very good at protecting my skin. But so anyway, to try to get this to heal a little bit faster, tell me what we're going to try here. So we are trying out some exosomes today on Dr. Mendelssohn. So when you think about the healing process, we all have in our bodies these cells called stem cells. Inside the stem cell, there are endosomes. These are even smaller cells that contain um, growth factors and different mRNA protein nucleic acids that heal. So they're programmed to heal. They're like smart cells. So as they exit the stem cell, they're no longer called endosomes, they're called exosomes. And these exosomes are kind of programmed to go to uh, different types of tissue that are in need of repair. And so with Dr. Mendelssohn, we obviously intentionally injured this area here. And so we're going to put the exosomes on today to see if it'll heal it a little bit quicker. That's great. Okay. Which would be less downtime, which would be awesome. And we are just starting to use these, so we're not sure what uh, what the result will be. <laughs> yeah. So Dr. Mendelssohn is our guinea pig today. Oh, that's right. So I'm currently just making up the endosomes here. There's a little dilutant that is liquid. It's kind of like a gel substance that we remove from one vial and put into where the actual endosomes are, the exosomes. And we just mix that up so it's pretty quick. There's like a powder in there that's the actual exosomes. This has, I think it's 250 yeah, billion. Say, hold it if they can, I don't know, it has, if they can see that. That's a powder. Just like Botox, right? That's yeah. how Botox comes. Yeah. So what I'm doing is just warming it up with my hand so that it reconstitutes. And we get all of these into Dr. Mendelssohn's skin. Now, since we did a fairly small region on him, he's going to have extra of this. So I'm going to have him keep reapplying throughout the day because it does soak in pretty quick. I microneedled with this a couple weeks ago on one of our staff members to try it. And um, it soaks in fairly quickly. It was also really nice to microneedle with, actually. Hmm. So you put it on the skin as you're microneedling? Yeah, I put it on first as a glide. You know, right now we're yeah. using elastin nectar, and it worked really well. Okay. So I might even just draw some out. You know, it's funny. This. As I'm looking at my face, I'm thinking, mm, maybe I should have done my forehead. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, did, I it, tried it, to get you to it, do it. It is funny how that works. <laughs> you want me to microneedle it? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. All right, so all I need to do is really just apply this. So exosomes, they need to enter the skin to create an effect. So he still obviously has a injury, so we're just going to go right over top. And this should not sting or burn. I just had to make sure that he cleansed his skin beforehand to get that aquaphor off. So we're just going to gently apply, and I'll try not to get that in your eye. There we go. Okay, and then maybe, I guess... We'll probably be able to see this side a little bit better. Okay. Dr. Mendelssohn had a few little angiomas on his cheeks, or really just little vascularities in the skin. And um, I'm hoping that those shrunk up a little bit with the laser as well, but you can see those little red spots. Okay, so that's layer number one. How's that feel? Yeah, feels no. fine. Yeah. 
Not stingy? It doesn't look cool. No, no, no. It's good. Okay. So, and so we'll let that soak in and then probably keep reapplying until this volume is gone. You put the aquaphor on over it or no? No. I, I want to keep, I want to make sure all this gets in the skin. So keep reapplying. Got it. Okay. And then later tonight, aquaphor, yes. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Exosomes. We'll see. Thank we'll you. see how it goes. Okay. Thank you. Go Exosomes.